welcome to Hua Hin, Thailand! Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five on a mission to visit every country in the world. We bring the sunshine. Today's journey starts in Pattaya, where we take a bus all the way from Pattaya to Hua Hin. Oh, this one's a nice bus. It's so nice and spacious. That's, that's surprising because the first one we went on, the seats didn't really stay up. So this one's looking much yeah, better. And it's a five hour bus ride. Yes. to a new city we've never seen here in Thailand, Hawaii. This is gonna be so much fun. We're gonna stay for a couple weeks. And the bus was really comfy and now we're made it here. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get to our friend's house. I am so happy to be in a home environment. We can like make homemade meals. We can have family movie nights. We can just sleep in, we can work and we can do anything we need to catch up on. This is so exciting. We get each get our own room too, so we all get our own personal space, which we don't often get, you know, 24-7. So, this is good. We are literally staying right beside a market. Time to get some food here. Look at all the food stands. It's like this whole market area. Literally right outside of our place. Look at this, this is just amazing. We literally just arrived to our home exchange and outside is this like music playing, loads and loads and loads of food options, like so many. And we got some bratwurst, because that's what you do when you're European, yeah, like with you. spring rolls. Yeah, oh, I just made them. <laughs> nice. Okay, first day here in Hua Hin, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. I put a chip in my mouth, and all of a sudden it was like a big crunch, and my back tooth literally like chipped right off. I couldn't believe it. So, went to the dentist, and it cost me 1,900 baht to get two x-rays and basically they filled in the whole area so they drilled it took them 40 minutes 40 minutes they were working on my one tooth I couldn't believe it so it was a big like chunk that came out and um, they took me in right away and it was amazing anyway we're here we're enjoying a beautiful pool like yeah. check this out it's gorgeous and what I love most about it is that it loops completely in a big circle so you can swim the entire way well let's do it let's go see how big it is in today's video to talk about Cali Case. Have you ever been in a spot where there's like the pool, a lake, or a beach and you're like, I wish I can get some underwater epic shots but I don't have like an underwater camera or anything? Well, with Cali Case you don't need that. You just need your phone because it works for iPhones, Samsungs, any type of phone you have, any size. Here are five different types of people you'll often find by the water, whether it's at the pool or by the beach. Number one is the Instagrammer. They're always the ones who are trying to get that perfect shot. Number two, the person who just washed their hair or styled it, they just don't want to get it wet. I'll use my Cali case, but I don't want to get my hair wet. Okay, now I've got my Cali case, but you still can't get my hair wet. Number three, you're just simply there to have fun, meaning you're going to get everyone wet in your way. Let's play. <laughs> now my hair is all wet. <laughs> Number four, you're the party animal, and you always got to have your music with you. Bro, let's party. And number five, you just want to chill, but you want to make sure your phone is secured. You basically get a case like this, and it comes in different colors. Then, you put your iPhone in, and then to shut it, clip it together, and then pull these things so it's super easy. So underwater, it's no problem to make videos, maybe take some selfies underwater, you know the whole works. This is also great if you're just at the beach and you don't want you to get your phone all sandy. Because it's sandproof, waterproof, and dirtproof, so it's really good and it protects your phone from everything. That's why we're so excited to be using Cali Case while we travel, because we love swimming and being underwater. So go get yours now, go to Growing Up Food Borders slash Cali, and if you use our discount GUWB, you'll get 20% off. We are so excited to go try it out. And now let's get back to the video. 
So this is day three already for us here in Hua Hin. And um, last night we went to the beach and the whole tide was up to the waterfront. So we're gonna go check out the beach now, it's low tide. The girls are having a blast because they each have their own desk and they feel like a cozy little um, chalet, if you will. It's kind of like European feeling. And um, this is their first day that they've been able to connect with friends online. So I'm gonna quickly show you what they're up to. Ready for it? Hey, Hi. are you on video? Huh? Are you on video? No, I'm not on video. Just audio? Just audio, why? Okay. Hey, by the way, we have a Discord server. So go check out Growing Up Without Borders forward slash Discord and join the Discord server. They have sometimes these like game nights, fun um, parties that they do all together. This is Angelique's setup. She's got her bed here, her cozy desk. She's loving it. You having fun? Yeah. So we were basically living life the locals and enjoying those night markets that were right outside our door. What is this, Chantal? Um, real jellyfish. Which course. just stung me today. <laughs> Look at this Thai red curry. We love our Thai food. I got this banana roti and it is so good. Good morning, it is 9 a.m. and I just woke up. It's Saturday morning and even though we are in Hua Hin, Thailand, we are still keeping up our traditions with making crepes in the morning. Nutella crepe and a delicious coffee. It is 11 a.m. I am just video editing. My mom and Chloe are working on emails here. Yeah. This is what it's like when we're working. Something I've been doing here in Hawaiian is working on my SAT because if you didn't know, my sisters and I have been homeschooled for most of our lives. We've done a different programs like Monarch Over, it's an American curriculum and then an online school of Crimson Globe Academy. So our schooling is kind of like all these different bits and pieces. So it's kind of hard when we like try to apply for schools, like a hotel management school and say, what we've done for schooling wise. So I've been using Khan Academy to practice for my SAT test. I've got sausages. We're making a pasta salad here. This looks so good. So if you're wondering what the beach looks like here in Hua Hin, this is it. It's a beach that fluctuates quite a bit with the tide. It's yeah. not the white, sandy, luscious beaches that you would find in other parts of Thailand. I went swimming in it the other day. It was quite lovely. It's nice and warm. That's what's beautiful. Um, it's not crystal clear or anything. And there are little jellyfish and stuff, so you gotta watch out. We found some beautiful shells here. We're gonna make some bracelets, necklaces maybe one day, but look at that. All right, you guys want to know what life and living like in Hua Hin's been like? Because we've been living like the locals here in Thailand. So for me, being in Hua Hin, it's been nice because I've been able to talk to my online friends, host some game nights on our Discord server, and join classes. Because I'm on school break, it's been very relaxing to just, you know, live life here in Hua Hin and there's not much going on. This is what you have to do when you come to Thailand. You have to get a massage. We're going to go full out, do the whole works. I'm yeah. so excited. So excited because with all the work we've been doing on our laptops, yeah. it's going to feel like heaven. Yeah. And tonight I have to wake up at 3 a.m. to and talk to a client. Oh, isn't that crazy? And believe it yes. or not, actually, Chloe and I have not got a massage since being in Thailand this trip until now. And it's been a few weeks. Yes. So we're waiting for We were waiting for it. Much needed. Good night. <laughs> All right, you guys, explain. That was incredible. So we did like almost like a full it's body. Like a full body. Yeah. And it was like the Thai deep massage. Okay, we are bringing you guys to go see the amazing night markets. There are literally two right beside where we're staying, which is amazing. And uh, we're gonna go show you all the food options and everything that is so amazing about Thailand and why we love it so much. So they have this market, which is literally right beside us, has so many food options, but we're gonna go check out another one, which is just 
as beautiful. This is the Circada market. I'm calling it the entertainment market. There's like a magician show happening, lots of different people doing different things. Now let's go check out the food. Korean barbecue you can have. Chicken. 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 Hmm. That's nice. Chicken booty. Oh, that's really good. Oh, yum. Oh, they have yummy pizzas here. So the market's a little bit more with um, local artisans and vendors selling all their products. So there's food and all the stands. I smell something amazing. Good area. Hello. Hi. Okay, so at this market you get a coupon, and with that coupon you go order your food. This is where all the artists are. It's very artistic and just really nice. I think it has a more laid-back atmosphere too. So the whole family is getting burgers and I decided to get the tum yum soup with chicken. I'm so excited because I haven't had one since we've been here in Thailand yet. These are all the ingredients. It's amazing. I'm having my Thai soup like a spaghetti. <laughs> I'm swirling it up. I love it. It's my favorite soup. It's so good. While we were there, we actually met people who follow our channel that were from Hawaii, so it was really fun to meet them and get to know their family. Today, Angelique and I are going to show you some of the um, places you'll want to know about here in Hua Hin. Simple things like the shopping malls to choose from, which ones have the best grocery stores, and maybe just some things. And we're going on a fun little scooter. This is the gas station. Okay, this is like my favorite gas station ever. First of all, look at how small it is. Second of all, I could, well, I was shocked at how little gas it takes. Oh. Where the gas goes. Okay, now watch this. This is hilarious. First of all, you put in your cash, and it goes a long way here because it's Thailand. I almost overfilled it the other day. It talks to you. Watch this. party while you're filling up with your gas. That's it. This is the Blueport shopping mall and inside here you have stores like H&M, Uniqlo, the Coffee Club, Starbucks. Starbucks. They also have the high-end uh, grocery stores so if you're looking for European, maybe um, international foods that have been imported, this is where you're gonna find it. So it's a little bit more pricey because of that as well. On the weekends, they often have this whole event space that you're seeing behind me filled with things. Like the other night, I saw kickboxing, like Thai kickboxing. They had music here last night and it's just like, a, it becomes very lively. This is cool, they often do like crafts. I saw this the other day. So you can make your own jewelry and all kinds of fun, fun things. They have a flip-flop vending machine with shoe sizes at the bottom. What? The first time I've ever seen a flip-flop vending machine. Oftentimes in shopping malls in Thailand, you have almost like a market within a shopping mall. So you feel like you're going to the local market. I'm not going to show you everything that's in this store because they do have a huge selection. But just to give you an idea, chocolate's always a good thing to showcase because you can't accessibly get the good kind of chocolate all over. But this one, this store has a huge selection. Maybe a little pricey, 
but so good and so worth it. All right, so you get the idea. So now let's go show you what the second shopping mall is like here in Hua Hin. This is basically the food market. Well, this is Market Village inside here. Yeah, they have a lot of the franchises and Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, pizza, everything. And then they have like a grocery store that's maybe a little bit better uh, value wise and still a good selection though. So the shopping mall has kind of like a market downstairs, almost like the NBK in Bangkok, where there's all these like cute little quaint boutique shops. So almost like a market down here as well with all different food stands, ice cream, coffee, everything. This looks really yummy. Look at this. They even have Dairy Queen, but the, what's unique about this one is they have durian ice cream. Ah! <laughs> all this food is making us hungry, so we're gonna get food. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get a passion fruit smoothie. I'm tempted to get a coffee. So we stayed up watching Avatar last night till really late. <laughs> How is it? Good. You know you're in Thailand when you're just sitting there and you're like keep coughing and choking because of the spices are so spicy. And then you try their drinks. They come like this with plastic because that's what they do here. And it's so sweet. A grocery store called Lotus, which has a really big selection of everything. We did a little tiki tour around, went to the pier, and then we drove back to meet up with the family. downtown and I swapped riders. Now I'm with Julia and um, we heard about this cat cafe here so we're gonna go check it out. It's an ice cream and cat cafe. That is so cool. Oh, they know so they cute. like you. This is so cute. They automatically just go to Angelique. Like they like her so much. Look at that. Look at this little guy. He looks just like a baby Ziggy. Look at how small he is. Hey, no! I'm not your friend. Oh my gosh, this is such adorable. We had such a cool experience because we could eat ice cream with cats all around us. It is almost 6 p.m., which means it is time to go check out the night market. We are coming to a food night market here to get some food. Look at all the clothes you can find. This is what it's like, a street full of things. I love it in Thailand, all these outdoor kitchens everywhere you go. It's just amazing. Ooh, Chloe's looking for some new dresses. It's definitely long. The minute I saw this, I'm like, I want it, even though I've got lots of clothes, because it's so pretty with the colors and this pattern. And then Chloe... Technically, we can match. Yeah, we're going to be matching. Trying on more dresses. That one's cute. So we made one successful purchase, which was like a white dress, which will look really pretty. This is nice. So this is like a covered area just off the night market. It has all these cute little shops. Yeah. Uh, so we just got two tops. This one for Angelique and this one for me. How much did it come to? Uh, six each. 420. 420. 420. Oh. I didn't say the price of my dress I got earlier, but it was about 320 Thai baht. And this has been great for shopping. So now that we're all done our shopping, it's time to go get some yummalicious food. And we just met a really nice guy from New York who said, down the way, there's the best Thai food. However, I think we're going to go back to the night market to where we live, or where we're staying, market. Tamarine Market, and go have some yummy food there because it's so good. And there's a really nice sitting area too. Okay, so we met some really nice neighbors from France. Let's go see if we can go pick their brains and ask them why they moved here, how they like living here, because I think they've been here for quite a while. I'm not sure if they want to be on camera or not. They said yes. All right, let's see what they say. Alors, on a Marie et Gérard qui viennent de la France, enfin, Réunion. Réunion, Réunion. Et de la France. Et là, ça fait combien d'années que vous êtes allé-retour en Thaïlande? 
euh, depuis euh, 2016, depuis 7 ans. 7 ans déjà, ouais. oui. Et qu'est-ce qui vous plaît le plus, disons <rire> Ce qui nous plaît le plus, ben, c'est la vie, la vie ici de tous les jours, parce qu'à nos âges, euh, qu'on ait cette vie-là en France, ou qu'on ait cette vie-là ici, ou qu'on ait cette vie-là à La Réunion, ici pour nous, tout est, tout est condensé dans une euh, facilité de vie par le climat, par la végétation, par les échanges avec des étrangers, la connaissance des autres, la, la connexion, la connexion est très importante, euh, la famille... Euh, est, est éloigné, mais je vis avec ça. Et la gentillesse des gens. Des gens. La gentillesse, la des, gentillesse gens. des gens. Donc vous trouvez qu'ici, les gens sont peut-être, disons, plus sympathiques ou plus faciles à faire des... Plus, que... plus faciles d'accès immédiat, parce qu'ils oui. ils sourient tout le temps, uh -huh. mais plus difficile pour les connaître réellement. Mais est-ce que vous avez beaucoup de connaissances euh, des étrangers ici Il y a beaucoup, une oui. communauté tout à fait, tout à fait. Ouais. Alors, ce qui est intéressant pour la connaissance avec les Thaïs, c'est quand le thai, la, la femme Thaï, elle est avec un Européen. Donc pour nous, c'est très facile. On a des Suisses un peu plus loin, on a des Anglais, on a des Norvégiens. Et donc là, on connaît un petit peu plus les Thaïs parce que... On est dans des milieux mixtes de couples. Et là, vous êtes à proximité de l'aéroport de Bangkok, donc c'est facile oui. à, à joindre. Oui, hein, oui. Et, oui. Puis, oui. Euh, oui. et puis ça vous plaît. Ah Tout oui, à fait, absolument. on est très heureux. Donc on ne faut pas oublier qu'on a vécu 30 ans à, à La Réunion, qui est alors, une île alors, tropicale. Alors voilà, ils ont l'habitude du climat, de l'humidité, ah. enfin, oui, de la exactement. chaleur. Alors ça, ça c'est normal ah, pour oui. vous. En voilà, ouais. c'est normal et c'est facile à vivre aussi parce qu'on est âgé et qu'on ne travaille plus. Ouais, parce que là, moi, je suis en train de transpirer. Là, ah, et eux, ils sont là tranquilles. <rire> bah, en tout cas, non, mais merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, c'est moi qui remercie. Un, un très, plaisir très contente. de vous connaître. Bah, voilà, merci. C'est un vrai bonheur. <rire> merci beaucoup. Et bonne poursuite de vos périodes. Voilà. Merci. En, en France, on dit bon vent. Bon vent. vent. C'est un terme de navigation. Que la navigation qui vient pour vous dans votre vie soit très bonne. Ah, bah, merci. Et sous la divine providence. En plus. Bon vent. Merci. I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of Hua Hin and uh, the life we've been living here. Make sure you subscribe, smash the notification bell so you're notified of our next adventures, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.